I just think for the grand opening of the marketplace, we need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it. We could give a dance recital. Ugh. Juggle! Huh. I mean something big! Something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. <laughs> you want a big star? Get Cherry Jam! Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very bitty world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request? Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan. Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. If she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Bitty City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? You guys are not going to believe this. When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, 
I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! Make Cherry for Cherry Jam! Superstar! Uh, excuse me? Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, see you in the morning. Just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! 
Cherry, we brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no. Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. you to give the grand opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your cherry jam? But you, you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick! You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Well, um, here, please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. Not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks, but you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. It's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? Take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite! I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh... <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers, either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance, and we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. Hey! Remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks. Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come on, yeah, 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 did I take? Hello? Help? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. Oh, I'm 
okay. I just lost my voice hollering for help. A boomberry pie party? Oh, no. They can't know that I've lost my voice. They will be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own boomberry pie party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. Boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry gem you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Cherry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? We get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you say want. anything for Cherry what Jam. What is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like... Fans. Who can help me paint the podium? I will! Let's go! Yeah, where are the Wait, wait let's get going! <laughs> Welcome to the Marketplace Grand Opening! <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help! And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment! <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends!
Strawberry, here! Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Uh, oh. Uh, oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you out. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah, that was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe... You forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... I get to use my extra special super urgent ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special super urgent ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 What? 
Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrikins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Plum, do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Uh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. 
Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all gonna go. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask, who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair! If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. Huh? Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. Huh. Strawberry? Huh? 
Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I. I don't? No. <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dad's studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's um, nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. needed. Oh, Plum. What can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you'd... you'd help me? After I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. 
<laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. This is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Now, everybody, look lively, look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. We're working on this together. season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I 
I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Cupcake. <laughs> In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Oh, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's gotta be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. 
That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love this! Oh, oh that's oh, cool. I think oh, Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry gathering unless everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it didn't copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, we're talking about copying. Who's copying who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. what to do.
cafe. Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody. Come on over as soon as you can. Tell everybody, anybody. Everybody, important meeting right now. What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me! When you didn't! Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come Let's on! Do it. Come, Come on, on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give, yeah. Me oh, give me another second! Give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beautiful
so why you think I 